I'm Rene Rosin, Team Principal and Managing Director of Prema Racing. We're going through all the ladder of motorsport that is made by FIA, so Formula 4 till the door of Formula 1, which is Formula 2. And of course, from this year, we expand also in the American market with IndyCar. We find out in Dynisma the right partners to work together in uh, the simulator world and be as much close as possible to the reality that we will find on track. For drivers like uh, Kimi and Oli last year, or this year Gabriel and Sebastian, some circuits are unknown. So you can arrive at the track on free practice and you know already what you want to do, what you want to test and, uh, and maximize it, as well the performance. My name is uh, Vitus Antio Garaja and I am working at Prema Racing as a simulator section uh, leader. Nowadays the simulator is just much more than uh, only driving side. As we have less and less track time, the championship uh, puts so much effort to reduce the cost and also lower the environmental footprint. So the engineers are using this incredible tool for different reasons, so car setup uh, development, everything regarding the energy management, tire management, and I will say the last point is all about hardware in the loop, uh, where uh, we are implementing the software of the car. It can be the software of the steering wheel with the configuration of the steering wheel and so on. Based on the driver feedback and our uh, data analysis, it's giving us real feedback and that is fundamental for them and for us also to work uh, on the simulator environment. Because you don't get much running and free practice and you need to get to qualifying straight on the pace, I'd say the sim is very, very, very important for that. It gives you the accurate feedback of, let's say for example, if you get a slide or the feeling of a car, a quick twitch for example. And as a driver, you really need that because it's split seconds that you have to make a decision to make a correction and that's what this sim gives you. Simulator work is uh, basically 70% or more of the job done. Help us being ready straight away from the first lap of free practices. We can see how much exact energy we put on the tires, whether the warm-up is good or not, the braking points, the corners, how to approach them. Every time you're going to curb, even the noise and you know the vibration that you get inside is quite uh, cool, quite uh, let's say impressive. It helps massively. I've used a lot of sims in the past, especially to prepare for races, but never as advanced as this. The motion cues is quite impressive, especially how fast it is, because as a driver, obviously, I depend a lot on my feeling. Going into a slow speed corner, you really feel the difference. When I hit the curb, I know what to expect, so I'm expecting it, and then once it happens, as a driver, it allows you to kind of react, but at the same time, act upon your instincts. It's not like you're waiting for something to happen, but you're just driving. It helps massively. We use also the simulator for LMP2, where we have a lot of work regarding the energy management, which is super important, especially for the race like uh, Le Mans. And uh, then we also integrate the simulator to use in IndyCar to uh, prepare as it is a new championship for Prema. We choose Denisma for reality. Uh, excellence and performance match together to achieve the best result as possible.